Page 49, Hey Ho, Nobody Home. It's another lead sheet. We've had these before. Let's just review a few things about them. Remember a lead sheet is where they give you the melody and they give you the name of the chords above the staff and you have to make up the accompaniment. You improvise. Kicker here is, okay, how do you improvise? Well, well, we'll get into that a little bit. I don't really teach improvisation, but I'll give you some ideas. First thing to do, look it over and make sure you can play the melody okay because you're going to need to spend most of your time thinking about the improvising part. So the melody needs to be pretty well learned. So this is in 4-4 time. There's no sharps or flats. It's telling you it's in the key of D minor. Well, it sounds D minor, but if it were truly in D minor, they'd need a key signature for D minor, but you haven't been introduced to that yet, so they can't give that to you yet, so you can't do that either. Just take my word for it, it's in D minor. It should have one flat at the beginning, but I don't want to get into that, so it's just just right. Melody first in the right hand, you're starting here. So it's one, two, three, four, one and two. Remember the A, you just bring the thumb down. Leave the hand where it is. Then measure three, it's three, one, three, one. Measure five, one and two and three and four and one and two and. Measure seven, you cross over. They say second finger. And then, like so. So make sure you get the melody okay. As far as the speed goes, right now that's not important. You take it whatever speed you got to go. But the melody needs to be no hesitations anywhere. You can move your hand around as you need to, blah, blah, blah. Now let's work on the accompaniment. First thing to do is make sure you know what all the chords are. So that, we're going to read the chord names. I'm just going to play triads. I'm going to try a three note chord. I'm just going to use root position. So here we have a D minor chord. Well, you need to know what a D minor chord is. Well, it's D, F, A. D minor chord. We're not using any black keys on this. It's just all white keys here. And then next to C chord, we well, come down one. And D minor chord again. And then an A minor chord. Well, you can come down here or you can come up here. The problem is the right hand is playing this note, so you've got to come down here to stay out of the way. Yeah. And if you go through this whole thing, those are the only three chords you're using. This is a D minor, C, and A minor. You notice when I said C, I didn't say C major. There's a reason. And that is that major is implied. That is, it's just understood. So if it is a major chord, you don't have to use the word major. You can if you want to, but you're not required. But if it's any other kind of chord besides major, you got to say what it is. So it's D minor, C, A minor. So something to keep in mind when you're talking about chords with somebody. So now let's play block chords with a melody and see how that goes. So D minor here. So one, two. Be able to move this around. The right hand's not moving right now. The D minor. Go on. Like so. So you get the chords worked out. Then you use your imagination. Well, good luck with that. I don't have much left. But the idea is you don't have to play block chords all the time. You can play broken, say, let's play quarter notes. We'll just break, play the bottom note and the two top notes. Try that. You see, there's all kinds of patterns for broken chords, and it's up to you. And any, the rule is, as I understand it, if, if it sounds okay, it, it's fine. Go with it. 
So as long as, but you can just experiment with it. You don't have to play. I can do an A minor chord here. Because all I did is I put the A on top. But this way I don't have to move around. The problem is the right hand needs that note. So if you're going to do that, you may only just do these notes here. So I'm, I'm just playing two notes. And the right hand is playing the other note. I mean, when you think about a chord, it's all the notes. That means both hands. So that D minor chord at the beginning is actually four notes here. And C is four notes. But I can do that. See, I can do that. I don't have to come all the way down there. Just, I let the right hand have it. hand isn't playing that note. Now look out here at the bottom. My tendency is what I want to do here at the bottom, that last measure. I want to play an A minor chord at the end because I'm we've had this in the first line with D minor. I had that there. I want to do the same thing at the bottom. Now, unfortunately, you got to keep the D minor chord. This is in D minor. We want to end it on a D minor chord. It doesn't have to end on a D minor chord. Usually it'll end on its one chord. So I'm going to leave it on the one chord. So, so we're, we're going to leave it on the D minor chord because that's the key it's in. Now I'm going to do a play with me on this because you really don't need one. And as far as the pedal goes, just change the pedal with the harmony, with the chords in the left hand. Each time you change a chord, change it for the most part, but I want to talk about it because we can experiment with the pedal here too. You see, you, you learn it without pedal first so you can hear it. And then you can experiment and see the different ways the pedal can change the sound. And you pick the, find a way you like is what it is. It's going to be overlap pedal here. Push the notes down and then the pedal. Change the pedal after I play the notes. It's going to overlap. Okay, for the most part. But when I get to measures like measure six, I don't want to smear all this. Ugh. Well, you you see the words Mary. You got Mare on uh, Mare, Re. I think I'm going to try changing the pedal with the words here. So I'm going to change it here, here, here. You're holding the left hand down. That way, it's not quite so blurry here. the end, you can leave it down for the whole rest of the piece. 